I'm a mom and I don't have a lot of extra time to make videos so I am going to be making a video today while I'm folding clothes and I hope you don't mind. I am going to turn around every once in a while and I'm sure that's breaking a lot of YouTube rules but this is the only way I can do it. So you also might hear my little boy yelp out yelp and if I duck out of the shot it's probably to grab him or something like that. So. Uh, today I just I was looking at some of my videos and I something was really on my heart and I really wanted to talk about it today and that is um, I don't want to seem like I'm hostile toward hospital birth or obstetrics because I'm totally not I think that there does need to be changes made but I am really grateful for obstetricians because they're there when we need them and they are there when there are complications with mom and baby and Obstetric care is an awesome thing, and I think that midwives and um, obstetricians need to work together. I think about Ina Mae Gaskin and her relationship with an obstetrician that she works with on the farm, and how she has hospital privileges there, and how they work together, and that obstetrician has taught her many things. And I am grateful that in some situations that there are hospital hospitals for mom and if mom feels safest in a hospital then that's the place that she should give birth and I don't want to seem anti-hospital either because that's not how I am I really am grateful that we have places when there are situations that otherwise couldn't be taken care of that we do have cesarean that we do have those interventions that are necessary and that we have surgeons who are trained to help in those situations I've actually had conversations with some moms where those interventions were necessary and when I'm talking about interventions I'm talking about things like Pitocin, epidurals, cesarean, any kind of augmented labor. I know that there is a time and place for those things and so I am grateful. I've talked to some moms who had some very wonderful hospital birth experiences and I'm sure that there are lots of labor and delivery nurses and hospital staff that had made have made that experience wonderful. So I don't think it's so much about where you give birth as much as how you feel when you do give birth. And if you feel safest at home, that's where you should give birth. And if you feel safest in the hospital, that's where you should give birth. And at a birthing center, that's where you should give birth. And I think there always needs to be a plan in place if you do need transfer to a hospital. And become aware of who your obstetrician would be in the circumstance that you need their care. I don't want to come across as um, anti-hospital. I told you about a couple of conversations I've had with moms and look at me, I said I was going to fold clothes and I'm not. So I'm going to grab a piece of clothing over here and fold it as I talk to you. I talked to some moms who have had um, different situations where they did want to have give birth in a hospital and that they did want those elective interventions. Um, a couple of things that I want to talk about are sexual abuse and when interventions such as epidural would help with that. And also with... Um, I've known a mom who has had a serious uh, anxiety when it comes to her body and a, a legitimate fear and paranoia of getting, giving birth that would stop her from enjoying her, her experience and she was taking medication for anxiety so I don't know if she had someone to help her at the time to help her overcome her fear. She did say she was seeing a psychologist or therapist that had told her that she should take some classes that would help her face the fear of vaginal birth and they would have her watch videos and that, that truly terrified her and she had a lifelong battle with anxiety and an anxiety disorder and so she decided she talked to her doctor and she said you know I know I'm I know I might sound crazy but how how what are my options for elective cesarean she did have one and she described her experience to me as an empowering one and she enjoyed her experience was something that she said she wouldn't change for anything so it wasn't traumatic for her to have a cesarean and there are a lot of women out there who I don't recommend elective cesarean but in her case after speaking to her I really felt that she that's a choice that she made after doing a lot of research and she felt empowered by that choice another thing I want to talk about is sexual abuse and how some women when they get to that point where they're at the pushing phase of labor it feels so it was too reminiscent of sexual abuse and this is something we went over in my training for childbirth ed and I'm gonna put this shirt down um, and how during the pushing phase that uncontrolled sensation down in that region of the body felt 
reminiscent of an attack that they've had and the epidural was a good tool that was used to help her to be, feel peace, feel at peace with what was happening to her body, helped her through the pushing phase and helped her to have a peaceful birth experience. Um, another thing is when we do have situations where there is a complication, when there has been a placental abruption where we do have to get the baby out as quickly as possible, I think that cesarean is a very useful tool. And one thing I didn't mention is high-risk moms and mothers who do need care throughout their pregnancy at a hospital with obstetricians who have expertise in certain diseases or disorders. And if we do our research and we are paying attention as moms who are making decisions surrounding our birth and as birth professionals, um, then we can help make these experiences as have safe out outcomes. Obstetricians are not the bad guys, and I think I don't want to come across that way. And midwives and obstetricians should work together. I do feel that the midwifery model of care is best model of care when it comes to maternity health care. There are many doctors and obstetricians who believe that. I've heard some people say uh, mid MD, midwife in disguise, if they were an obstetrician. Some great obstetricians that are not against midwifery and actually for working with midwives are Dr. Sarah Buckley and Dr. Stu. Dr. Sarah Buckley um, actually wrote Dental Birth, Dental Mothering, which I'm reading right now, which I'm going to do a book review on, and it's an awesome book. And also, Dr. Stu, is he's a doctor in California that does home births with midwives, and he has a podcast that I listen to on occasion. He's also written some books. So there are some awesome obstetricians. I did a book review on Dr. Tadashi Yoshimura, who is an obstetrician in Japan, who is a, who runs a birth natural birth clinic there. Obstetricians aren't the bad guys. We do need to make decisions surrounding our birth. We are responsible for what happens when we are giving birth. We have to educate ourselves. Obstetricians are trained to keep their eyes open for all the complications that could happen. And I think that we need to realize that if there is something going on, let's say at a home birth, we're having some issues and we need to be transferred. Let's say like a hemorrhage or something like that or baby's not coming or the midwife makes the diagnosis that transfer needs to happen. Then we should be grateful for the care that we can receive at the hospital. So that's just something I wanted to address. It's, it's just something I wanted to get off of my chest before I went forward with making any more book reviews or talking anymore. Uh, the choices I made surrounding my birth, those were personal choices and every mother has to make those personal choices. I decided that I didn't want to have a hospital birth. Now if I had to be transferred to a hospital, I think that I would know what decisions I would make in that, in that case. But and at every birthing center I went, each birthing center I went to, there was the there was a hospital that we could transfer to in the case of an emergency. But those are choices I made. I'm not saying every woman needs to make those choices. As I said in another video I made on Joyce Childbirth Changes the World, not everybody's story needs to be the same. So everyone's got a diverse story. Just like I don't think that there needs to be a straight protocol as far as how long we needed to wait after the water breaks until we need to go, we need to induce contractions, or how long we should wait after due date. It needs to, I don't think there needs to be a straight regimen on that. I also don't think that we need to say all obstetricians are bad guys and that all hospitals are horrible birth, hospitals to give birth in. What I'm saying is do your research and make those decisions. You are responsible for your own body and your own birth experience. So that is all I wanted to talk about today. I got maybe two shirts folded, but this is a short video. So that is everything. Thank you.